Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today is going to be another real world projects video where I discuss a practical script extension or plugin that I created to achieve an actual released uh, final product that helped aid in creating it or completely created it. Today I'm going to be going over this tool I've basically been in the process of creating called Lyre that allows me to uh, easily and quickly create a lyric music video based on timing, markers, and a whole bunch of other settings. And I'm um, just going to be going over kind of making your own proprietary tools and the benefits and all about this tool in particular. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub for coding updates, as well as Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, make sure you come and join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And you can also join us on YouTube to help support us financially as a member or supporter. This gives you cool perks as well, like Discord status, weekly member pools, weekly member live streams, and also check out the links down below to AE Scripts, Gumroad, and Adobe Exchange to check out some other cool stuff I make. So this tool is, again, essentially a lyric video uh, generator or tool. Uh, in the past, I did a coding challenge, I believe, on a lyric video, and I took that concept and started taking it a bit further to create my own tool to try and automate roughly 90 to 99% of the process, especially when you have to make a two to three minute video. Um, the budget isn't necessarily high, which isn't a problem, but having the skills to be able to automate something like this is super useful and allows you to not only generate multiple iterations and versions, um, but also quickly change the style of an existing version, uh, especially if you just need to batch modify a font, uh, font size, colors, etc. So most of the real world projects I've discussed so far are things that you can either go check out online now or things that helps create something that is available online that you can actually see kind of its process or the actual code of it. In this case, this is part of a sort of series of proprietary tools I've been working on to try and help make some of the more menial things that I do uh, more efficient. Uh, this is including things like lyric music videos, automatic video edits to music or timings, as well as some other super secret tools for things like automating extension creation and things like that. But I have basically one or two that are super far along and I've actually, as you can see, tested with actual projects. Lyre is just kind of like uh, the Lyre bird, which is really good at mimicking stuff, which kind of relates to the process of making a lyric uh, music video. If you don't already know, I do make music and release it with people, collaborate, sell beats to people. And uh, I also like to communicate with those people that I also make videos and do all the other stuff. So sometimes these opportunities come up to make lyric music videos and things like that. So this tool is to hopefully in the future as well, uh, as I continually modify it and make it better to make the process quicker and more efficient to create these lyric music videos. Not only that, because I'm saving time by creating a bunch of iterations and then either I can send all those iterations to the client or I can just look at those iterations myself and say, okay, number two, that's the best one. We're going to use that and modify it, maybe make some changes to it and then send that to the client. So before the client even gets the first lyric music video, it may have already gone through several iterations by me, several rounds of polishing, which um, would normally take a long time having to go back and forth with feedback and maybe create a whole new version. This just really makes it super simple. And because it is a script, the most powerful thing here is this iterations button. If I wanted to, I could generate a hundred instances of this lyric music video. Now, obviously that would be a little crazy because we're talking about three minutes times a hundred and all the stuff that it does have to generate when we're talking about in this case, almost a hundred layers. But overall, this tool really allows me at a simple level to create and customize things. Just to go over some of the features um, that are currently enabled, there are some other features that are obviously needed to come. The more, the more I work on these other projects where I'm using it practically, the more features I want to add. But some of them you have to kind of find a balance between automation and um, customization. So first you have a width and a height input and a frames per second for your actual footage. 
I just have all the basic options. I work with some people in Australia, so it's good to have PAL systems or for Europe. It's good to have high frame rates, low frame rates, creative frame rates. Um, then of course, in this case, what I have is a system set up where you can ass essentially link a lyric file to markers that you've predefined. You can go through the whole song and just hit a marker for every time there's kind of this lyric change. Um, and then that can be linked to this file where it takes every single row as a single lyric text and spreads them out appropriately between the markers. Then I have a font option because that's quite important and obviously an option to add fonts where you just select one of the fonts you want and click on add to add that to the list. Then of course you need the actual audio file for your lyric music video so there's an input for that and you'll usually want some kind of background so in this case I have an option to add a background and of course this background can then be stylized. We have a main style and a text style. Not all of these are working, but these are the general uh, style types and ideas that I've come up with that are sort of overall what I'm doing for actual clients. So um, in this case, you know, you can use fade. I have a rotation, a position, and then I have some for specific clients, as well as some specific styles like light leaks, camera moves, random AF. And with these, the goal is to basically have predefined styles in the background. So, so overall, this these styles contain like sort of background predefined things that will hopefully match the aesthetic of what the client or I want to create for the client. So in this case, the music video is super quick. Text comes flying in super fast. And then it goes flying out super fast. So in this case, a fade or a position may be the way to go. And for the text, that is a separate style as well. So I have something that will apply only to the added text from our lyric file. And then I have other styles like this. These will apply sometimes, sometimes it randomizes on or off, uh, whether or not, you know, the background will have an effect, whether there might be some kind of color correction on top or a blur, things like that. Of course, these are all easily modifiable after the fact, but we want to automate as much as possible. Then we have uh, options for color enhancements or LUTs. Uh, where I just have these presets here where you can choose to add no LUT or these nice presets that I have defined, which will usually just apply a LUT to a predefined plugin that I have. Um, and that will just make the color correction easy. And then for some post processing, I always like to add a bit of grain to most of my composites just to add a nice level of fake detail as well as it helps uh, flatten everything into a kind of cohesive image. And of course, what's a tool without some camera shake options? And in this case, an iterate option, which is kind of my favorite thing that I'm uh, thinking about expanding recently, where I have the choice to just generate one lyric music video if I want. Maybe I could generate 50 lyric music videos. Um, and the goal is to kind of have all of these options have some randomization inside of it to allow you to have these variations um, kind of in a generative AI way almost where each generation can have uh, different traits. And I'm actually, I do have a tool I'm working on for auto editing, which I want to implement this feature into this, where say I generate 50 iterations or 50 uh, examples of this music video. Maybe I like number nine the best. Um, then the next screen, I would be able to select my favorite generation or my favorite version. It would take those settings and generate more versions specifically along the randomization uh, values that that used. So you can pick the one that you think visually looks the best and start then picking its children uh, and picking the best traits um, of what you like. This is a normal programming uh, kind of evolutionary genetic experiment that people do to uh, do all kinds of things in generative and procedural design. And the same can be applied here. We can procedurally create as many different offspring or different styles of lyric music videos as we want. And this music video in particular is a good example of uh, why the automation actually came in handy a lot. So this project, I mean, maybe overall, because I was also working on the script, took about a week or two weeks to put together. Um, but the feedback was actually quite a bit longer and could have been even longer if I didn't have the automation set up. Why is this? Well, I wasn't sure at first, you know, what necessarily he wanted stylistically. So the thing, the idea was to basically make two versions of the music video. 
would have like a night version with a nice glowing city background and since he's from sydney australia i found some royalty free pictures of that to use so there's a night version um which literally just has you know a city with a heavy amount of post-processing effects and of course there's vfx elements everywhere to keep things interesting but also um part of it was I wanted to create a daytime one as well. So I had a daytime royalty free image of Sydney that I used. And there's also, of course, a bunch of different formats that I ended up having to create for things like Spotify and video previews. So not only is there the lyric music video in two different styles, day and night, uh, with lots of effects and automation inside of it. After that, I could use this tool to further uh, create these secondary elements, which are just the backgrounds with basically elements, just to have this nice uh, loopable background. And overall, this tool probably saved me several weeks worth of work. And as I've worked on more and more practical projects uh, with this, I've been able to start uh, basically adding more features, understanding what needs I have for more realistic projects, because a lot of this was just speculated, and then I worked on this project to kind of iron out all the details. And overall, it's a very good idea to have some of your own proprietary tools in your tool set. Um, you can tell people about them, but maybe you don't want to show them or give them the code in some cases, because you never know where this could branch off to. This could become a super useful tool, or I could, of course, just sell it or use it for personal use if I don't think that others may benefit uh, in the same way. But that's going to do it for this real world project of this lyric music video uh, generator and variation script that I created for proprietary use at the moment. If you guys enjoyed this video and thought it was insightful for a little bit of a different and less public part of development, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub for coding updates, as well as Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, make sure you join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube, you can do so down below by becoming a member or supporter, which comes with cool perks and helps us out financially. You can also check out the links below to AE Scripts, Gumroad, and Adobe Exchange to see some other cool stuff I make. Thanks again for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.